Alright guys, I've been dreading making this video because I know it's going to take a long time, <laughs> but I will do it as fast as I can, but if you're looking at buying uh, this is my 96 Dodge Viper, you want to see every little piece of it. Because chances are you don't live in my town and you want to know exactly what you're coming to see. So just like we do with my, uh, when I sell motorcycles, I'm going to go over every inch of this car and then just tell you how, how great it is. I'm just going to show you how good it is. And then um, we'll do another video where we do a test drive of it. And that'll be that. Let's, uh, Let's start with right here. So there, uh, there's no paintwork on this car except for these lower, the lower rockers. I just had them painted because you know the, the peeling that happens that starts to happen after you know because the exhaust goes down underneath there. When I had them off, I did realize it did have a, a Borla exhaust on it. Um, just give you a quick, let's we'll walk around real quick, just so you can see everything, and then I'll go piece by piece. Those are the uh, HRE wheels. They are beautiful. And I do have the factory wheels inside the shop with, um, with another set of rims and tires on it. And this has uh, uh, the Pilot Sport, Pilot Sport tires. All right, so they did, they did a perfect job matching the, uh, the lower uh, rockers. Let's look at the front. Uh, the clamshell piece. Oh yeah, so these things, um, these are of course aftermarket. Some guys like them, some guys don't. Um, I don't know, I kind of preferred the stock ones, but a lot of people like these, and a lot of people try to find these, um, but I didn't feel like taking them off. So I let's try to find any imperfections that we can on the hood. Now of course there's a fiberglass hood, and I've heard it's normal to see little cracking and stuff like that. But I don't think I've I don't think I've noticed anything. I actually pulled this car out of New Hampshire, and the owner was in the uh, New Hampshire Viper Club, and they kept extremely extremely good care of it. Now there was a little piece of we did touch up right there, tiny little piece. I don't know if you can see that. It was very, very, very small, but it's right there. We did touch that up. Now, if you notice, the front does have a uh, does have a um, a clear bra on it, and there are some imperfections in the clear bra, but there's no imperfections that I can find inside the actual hood. I I, I know the clear bra does not look the best, but I didn't want to take it off because I was too scared that I was gonna get like a chip on the front end as soon as I took it off. A little bit of dirt. Just a little bit of dirt. I just had this thing um, professionally detailed at the local Cadillac dealership. I'm not seeing anything, guys. All this stuff looks awesome. Now some of these Vipers, the GTS, this is white, and some of them they're they're like the same color as the car, blue. I asked another guy who had them. I'm like, what's the difference? He's like, I, I don't know. Some came with white, some didn't. Maybe it's a different year. Uh, like, like maybe it's in the time of the year. Here's the wheel. Uh, the tires have great tread on them, and these HRE wheels just look. Awesome, they were about 2,000 bucks a piece. Come over here to the front. To the front bumper, nothing oxidized up here. You can see like little scratches in the, in the clear bra. Up here, scratches in the clear bra. Also scratches in the clear bra. I would recommend taking this thing off. There's a, uh, a little chip taken out of the clear bra. And then same thing down here. That's all just in the in the clear bra. And then same same thing down here. It's not the clear coat, that's just the clear bra. So I would recommend taking that off. 
getting it all cleaned up and then putting a new one back on just to you know keep it preserved now there was one other this is also has a little clear brawl right there there was a little piece two pieces right there right there and right there very very small but that we had to do touch up and that, that's just plastic this door I don't see any imperfections on it at all. Same thing with the roof. Roof looks perfect. Uh, I did. I did have to have this thing uh, repolished, which is very, which is very normal for that to happen. Come back here, let's look at this wheel. Now we're shooting this in 4K HD, so when you watch this, you can, you know, you'll be able to zoom in and see everything real good. What's nice is because these things are just painted, that the underneath, underneath is not scratched up yet, or even on the front. Even the front looks nice and perfect. And when you pop, when you pop the hood, it's all clean underneath there. I know rocks tend to, tend to get stuck up in there. So coming back here now, I, I've seen I've seen a bunch of other Vipers. Honestly, this may be one of the one of the cleanest '96s. There are a few little imperfections, but I'm going to show you guys when we get to them. Back bumper looks great. There are a few little uh, where the license plate would sit. What's that? It's just some dirt. So where the license plate would sit, that that kind of rubbed right there, really small, and then right there. Where are we at? Right there, really tiny. But when you put a when you put a plate back on it, you're not gonna notice it. Deck lid. Nothing, no imperfections on here. Glass is great. And then come back over this side. I'm not. I mean, the thing's in really, really good shape, even though it is. Uh, you know, mostly fiberglass. It is normal to see cracks and spider webbing, but I, I don't see any of that stuff. Both of my uh, both of my door poppers work good. Um, I did have the uh, I did have the doors adjusted recently because these things start to sag because apparently they use the same door hinges on the GTSs as they did on the regular convertibles and the GTS door was heavier because it had the glass in it. Now here is one little tiny imperfection piece right there in the fiberglass. If you can see that it's very very tiny. And I actually have when they when they repainted this, they gave me a little jar of touch-up paint. You just want to like just dab I should have done that before, just dab that on there. And come back over here. Let's um Now this is, a, this is a clean title car, completely clean title. I think it's three owners. Door panel looks good. There is some wear right there. Looks like right there in that corner, in that corner piece. If you look down here, a little bit of wear right there. Look over there. A little bit of wear right there. It's very unknowable. Well, probably, probably should be painted, you know, just touched up black. The seats are perfect, no tears in the leather, of course. Um, inside looks awesome. Let's hop in there. So this thing has 43, let's see that, zoom in on that. 43,000 miles. Steering wheel's not all messed up. The only thing that the interior that that is kind of annoying, and I'm not sure how this happened, but if you look over here, this plastic piece starts to peel and flake. 
you don't notice it very much, but it does. Come over here, get stored up here, get your dome lights. All this stuff is good. Passenger seat. I bought these uh I bought these Viper rugs. I didn't have rugs when I got it. I bought these Viper rugs on eBay. They look great. This one, the driver's side, you have to pull it back a little bit because if it's too far up, it, it actually stops the the, the the clutch pedal from going in all the way. Um, the radio does work. There is a CD stuck in there. It's a pink. It's the, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, the, not the latest pink album, but one of uh, the artist pink. So if you like pink, that makes, then maybe you should buy the car. If you're not, the CD, the CD sucks. The, the, the stereo sucks anyway. Um, I mean, it's fine, but you know, it's a 96. We've made a lot of advancements in stereo systems since then. Come over here, pop this door open. Kind of a lot of similar stuff from the other side. Door works great. These emergency pools work great. There's some wear right there. The seats, they're, they're, they're perfect. Everything looks good. Inside here, what's um, AC blast cold, heat works good. Let's pop the trunk. I did replace these shocks. It was super obnoxious <laughs> to have shocks that don't work because you can't hold the trunk up. Here's what's going on back here. Get your tiny little spare tire. The dealership I took it to to get a recon, they, they put the cool little lines in the carpet. I don't know about you, but I always appreciate that. The jams in there are all nice and clean. Let's come over here, we'll pop the hood. Everything in here looks great. The one thing is this one valve cover. Uh, these magnesium valve covers. This is fairly common, but that's starting to flake. You can see right there, everything else looks great. Everything runs good, doesn't leak a drop of oil. I do have the smooth intake runner tubes for this. I just never put them in. Even after a little driving, the rock's just kind of put up on there. But that looks pretty good. As soon as I got the car, I you know I took it to the shop, had it tuned up, had it, had the oil change, had the um, you know all the fluids changed and stuff, and. Well, that's that's pretty much it. That's the uh, that's my Dodge Viper. I, I I love the car. It was a blast to drive. Um, I just I got I got I got too many other cars, and honestly, 
The biggest problem with me and this car was that this is too nice. It's too nice of a of a specimen for me. I this is most most money I've ever spent on a car. Um, but it's just that I would have more fun in the in a in a salvage title one of these that was wrapped. You know, and it was wrapped because it was all the body panels were different colors. Then I win this one because this is, the, this is the 96, this is the black, this is the blue and white, this is the one that everyone wants. This is, uh, you know, it's got clean titles, it's got, it's got so many things going for it, you know, um, that I didn't want to be the guy that messed it up. So I'll let someone else, I'll let someone else, you know, have fun with it. I'm just, I'm just a part of the story. Alright, if you didn't watch the test drive, go watch the test drive. Go look at the pictures. Just this car really is in beautiful shape. You can see the tires got plenty and just tons of tread. And let me, oh, here's that, uh, here's that touch-up bottle. There's a touch-up bottle with the, uh, with the paint code.